What's up, peeps? We back again for another movie review. This time, we're reviewing Pixar's, oh, Disney Pixar's, Coco. All right, let me tell y'all what Coco's about. I'm gonna start reading y'all what the, the movies are about. How about that? Huh? Check it out. Despite his family's generation, wait, my bad. <clears throat> Despite his family's generation's old ban on music, young Miguel dreams of becoming an accomplished musician like his idol. Ernesto de la Cruz. Desperate to prove his talent, Miguel finds himself in the stunning and colorful land of the dead. After meeting a charming trickster named Hector, the two new friends embark on an extraordinary journey to unlock the real story behind Miguel's family history. Oh yeah, Coco, man. Coco, man, had a good story. But first of all, let me talk about Pixar. Their track record is incredible. Quality product time and time again from Pixar, right out the gate till now. Only The only blemish Pixar has, in my opinion, is Cars, the Cars franchise. And they keep making these movies. They won't, they won't give up on Cars. I don't know who at the studio is like, we gotta do another Cars though. But they not really making as much as other ones. But now come on now, everybody likes Cars. Let's not forget, everybody's out here driving. Yeah, but nobody, Nobody's really asking for these sequels. Now, now, hold on now. Kids really enjoy cars, and there's a red car in there. Everybody likes red cars. They even higher on the insurance. Yeah, but they're just not doing as well. Like, Toy Story does better than the last one every time. Uh, we Finding Nemo in the sequel did incredibly well, but, but cars, though, everybody drives them. Think about that. When these families go to the movie theater, they drive I think we need to do a Cars 4. Pixar, stop with the Cars franchise. We're done. Maybe it's cheaper to make Cars. Maybe it's just cheaper to do Cars as a cartoon. Because you're just putting faces on Cars. There's, there's no wrong way to do that. Nobody's going to say, wait, that face doesn't look real. Like, look at this. Like, when you look at Woody, and Buzz, these are like human faces, so you just like, even though they're toys, it's, yeah. The face just doesn't look right. Nobody ever said that about a face on the car. But stop, man. Especially we ain't had an Incredibles sequel yet. We finally getting the Incredibles too. after how long? And they keep making cars? Stop. I've been waiting for the Incredibles for mad long. That's my favorite Pixar joint, the Incredibles. That's what Fantastic Four should have been, the Incredibles. Shout out to Mrs. Incredible. I see you out here with the with the shape. You know what I'm saying? But Coco, let's talk about it, man. Coco was good fun, man. It was a quality joint, man. I enjoyed it start to finish. The short in front of Coco is a bit long. It's funny that the short is long, but this short was long. I'm like, Jesus, is this the movie? And it features the characters from Frozen. So I, first of all, Frozen was just cool to me. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't get on the, the Frozen bandwagon. That short was a good 40 minutes, it felt like. Then when Coco finally came on, I was like, yes, yes. I really enjoyed the family aspect of Coco and the storyline. The whole, the whole band on music was hilarious. Long ago, there was a couple, it was a musician, he had a girl, and then, you know, they had a daughter, and then the musician just left and never came back. So the mom, you know, the, the mom was like, oh man. But she wasn't saying, she was like, oh, that's how that's how we gonna play it. She threw out everything in the house related to music. No music for the whole family. We gonna make shoes as a family. And she passed that down from generation to generation. No music whatsoever. Until Miguel came and then Miguel was like, I kinda, I kinda like music. Like they wasn't having it. Generation after generation, no music in this family. That's the premise of the movie, man. And uh, great music in it too. Like the music was good. You know, I, I love, I love a good, I love a good Spanish guitar, man. I like that. I like that sound. You know what I'm saying? I like the Spanish guitar before the accordion shows up. Once the accordion shows up, I kind of be like, ah, you know what I'm saying? But the Spanish guitar sound with, before the accordion comes. I'm all for it, man. And the characters were dope, man. Like once he went over to the land of the dead, uh, it was dope just to see their faces and that look. 
that day of the dead look. You, you, you've all been familiar with the little face paint they do for the day of the dead celebration in Mexico and Mexican culture. So it was dope to see that. And this is how they really look on that side. So I like that visual. And how colorful it was was tremendous, man. I was like, yo, it really took me to another place. And I, I like that. When I go to the movie, I'm like, yo, I'm really out here in Mexico in the land of the dead, man. And the family was good. The family was entertaining, man. The family was warm. Even though they were like, you're not gonna do this music, you knew it, come, it came from a place of love. Pixar tugs at your heartstrings, man. That's how they get you, man. Your soul gotta be missing something if you've never been emotionally touched, pause, by a Pixar movie. If they had never gotten your soul, something is missing within you. At least one of those movies had to get you. They got me several times. I remember the last Toy Story, when they were sitting there about to burn up, I was done. I was done. Movie Up, that holds the record for quickest eye water of all time. Like in the first five minutes, I'm, I'm watering? That's what we're doing out here, Pixar? Pixar's track record, man, incredible. But Coco, no exception, man. Coco was really good, it was warm, it was fun. I liked Miguel, he wasn't like a bratty kid. He just, he just wanted to play music, you know what I'm saying? He seemed respectful of his family, but at the same time, he had to rebel against them a little bit just so he can pursue his passion. Normally, I kind of do my little movie research to see who were the voices of which character. I didn't even do that for this one. I just watched it, and I was like, I'll look at the voice the voice actors later. But I did recognize like Edward James Olmos, uh, Benjamin Bratt, uh, Garcia Bernal, um, these are names that I, oh, see, yeah, I know these cats, man. But I, I don't know who they were in the movie. Would I watch it again? I think so, man. I think so. And this is another hit for Pixar. And what are the takeaways? Takeaway one, you gotta go for your passion in life. You gotta go for your passion. Even when people be like, no, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you can't do this. You gotta go for what makes you feel good, man. You know what I'm saying? The easy route, yeah, you can do the easy route without you gonna be fulfilled in the end, man. Another takeaway is, don't always judge a situation without knowing all the facts. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Don't always judge a situation without knowing all the facts. If you knew all the facts, that might change the whole trajectory of your family line. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say on that, man. But y'all wanna know the smooth jazz review of Coco. Well, here it is. Oh, yeah. I'm giving Coco. Four saxophones out of five. <laughs> I wonder if they got saxophones in the land of the dead. If so, let me play you a little tune. All right, peeps. Um, if you enjoy Pixar movies like I do, watch any of them except Cars. I mean, I, no, no disrespect to Cars, okay? They're not horrible, but within the canon, if I had to rank Pixar movies top to bottom, all the Cars movies are at the bottom, and then we work our way up. My personal favorite Pixar movies, The Incredibles and the Toy Story franchise. Any of those, but I, that goes without saying. I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all seen all of them. The only Pixar movie I haven't seen yet is Bray, so I gotta check that out. But Coco is a nice addition to the Pixar family, man. So that's it, peeps, man. Don't forget to uh, comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about Coco. Let me know what your favorite Pixar movies are. And uh, let me know what you think of Cars, too. Let me, let me know if I'm being too hard on Cars, man. And don't say Cars is trash if you haven't seen it. All right? Don't do that. Don't be that person. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Please. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the comments. And until, until next time, we out here.